Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. Last time, we met the married couple of Guybrush Threepwood and Elaine Marley Threepwood. And, yeah, we got back from our honeymoon, which involved fighting pirates. Yeah. But we made it back to our home on Melee Island, where we thought there was going to be a fanfare of people waiting for us, but... No, all we found was our mansion being foreclosed upon and a guy with a catapult trying to take it down. We no longer have to worry about him. And, uh, yeah, it also kind of messed up because, you know, Elaine is, in fact, the governor of this place, but she was pronounced dead. They have a certificate and everything, so we kind of need to do something about that. And, yeah, there's also a guy trying to take over the governor ship by the name of Charles L. Charles. So hopefully we can put a stop to him. Let's enter this here mansion. Cause yeah, now that we got rid of the catapult dude, we now need to get on over to Lucre Island to meet with Elaine's lawyers to see what they can do about all this. But it's kind of hard when we can't get a pirate ship or well, just a ship in general, along with a crew to help us out on the way to Lucre Island, so... Yeah, how'd you get in here before me? You were in Town Hall. I mean, granted, I know I did save and quit and come back to this after a few days, but still. Hello, my little plunder bunny. What are you doing here, Guybrush? Wow, you don't even sound all that happy to see me. Did you see the way I rid us of that cataclysmic catapult? I always knew you had it in you to destroy heavy machinery, my chaotic little pet. Unfortunately, that's only a stopgap measure. We have to find a more permanent solution. You... You want me to kill him? Or not, okay. Um, ooh, what can I choose, what can I choose, what can I choose? Hmm. We can launch a full-scale attack on City Hall! We could launch a full-scale attack on City Hall! Hold the town hostage, I say! Arr. That's not very civilized, honey bear. Besides, I wouldn't want you to get hurt. I'm too young to be a widow. Fair point. We could move away and leave this mess for someone else. But I like living here. Besides, it's probably just as messed up everywhere else. Also a fair point. We could make a public offering of the island and retire on the proceeds. You mean like Melee.com? That's stealing. Even for pirates. Haha, <laughs> I see what they did there. I think we need to stick to the current plan. I'll get right on it. Okay. But I am having a little trouble getting the ship. I'm having a little trouble getting a ship. What kind of trouble? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't even tried. Yeah, that's a good one, but no, I don't have the authority. I don't have the authority to requisition one. Can you believe that? Me. There must be a bunch of new people around here since we left. Here, take this. It should give you an air of authority. What's this do, Hickey? It's the official gubernatorial symbol of Melee Island. It conveys the authority of the Office of Governor. It also gets the holder in some pretty great parties. <laughs> the true pirate doesn't need some gubernatorial symbol to prove he commands respect. Yes, well, all the same, <laughs> I, I think we better take it. All right. Oh, does this mean I get to run the island now? I've got some revolutionary ideas about subsidized childcare. Just give it back the minute you return from Luger Island. All right, but we're also having another problem in that nobody wants to be on the crew. Nobody wants to be on my crew. Ask nice and don't make any ridiculous promises. Yeah, you should use that in your campaign. I'll leave <laughs> the crew selection to you, my dearest, and you can leave the campaign management to me. Is there anything else? Okay. Money would be helpful, though. Why? I'm not sure, but it always seems as though I could use a few hundred pieces of aid on my adventures. Well, I'd like to help, sweetheart, but we're kind of strapped for cash right now. Besides, what happened to your monthly allowance? I blew it all gambling on spitting contests on Booty Island. Well, then I'm sorry, my dear. It's time you learned an important lesson about budgeting. Oh, shucks. I'm trying to do better about budgeting myself. All right, I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. Concentrate on your campaign. Thanks. And what goes down in Booty Island, though? Like, I hear a lot of people talk about it. Kind of wish I could go there. Oh, well. So, yeah, just go ahead and put that up. Oh, what's that? Melee government employment contract. 
maybe we can just go ahead and take this. You know, maybe see if Carla and Otis might like that. It's the door to the kitchen. I know. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here worth looking at. Door to our bedroom. <laughs> I don't like that chuckle. It doesn't really seem to be much else to explore. It's a government paper of some sort. The header says Melee Government Employment Contract. Cushy edition. Ooh. I'll gladly take that. So then, what was... Okay, I, I still have the pretzels. It's the government job... <laughs> Oh. See, we could offer them a normal government job, but they want the cushy government job. I see. I see. Melee government employment contract. Okay, fair enough. Groovy banner. For some reason, it makes me want to write a hog. I really wish I did not examine that now. I am never going to hear the end of it because of an inside joke Especially with a friend. <laughs> the horsies. Especially the horsies. That reminds me of this chess master game my mom got me because, oh, I liked chess. I mean, I, I still enjoy chess, but, eh, she got me chess master for PS2. What a strange lamp. I like that lamp. Yeah, I meant strange as in strange and wondrous. Of course nice save. Know. But, yeah, um... She got me Chess Master and the first character... Oh my god, can I please leave my house? The first character you can play a game against is a monkey. And, like, his strategy is he just likes to move the horses. Like, well, no, 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 he, he just likes to move the pieces around. I don't know why. There was one where it was like, oh, he just likes to move the horses, meaning the knights. Because, no, it was PS2 Chess Master where the monkey just liked moving pieces. I might be thinking of Game Boy Color Chess Master where the first person just liked moving the knights. Yes, I have actually played more than one Chess Master video game in my life. Yes, I kind of remember bits and pieces about each one. Yes, I had a weird upbringing. Anyway, we got some contracts for cushy government jobs. Let's go ahead and uh, give this to uh, Otis and uh, Carla. Is this some kind of joke? What? This contract is not even being signed by the governor. <laughs> we may be down on our luck, pirates, but we're not stupid. Come back when you've got a signed contract. Damn it, they have a point. Okay, fine. Um, hopefully Elaine will sign this without too many questions. The less questions she asks, the better. Just gotta hurry on back to the house. And then we'll have Otis and Carla on our crew. We have the gubernatorial thing to show the harbor worker lady person. So we can get our boat. Now I just need to figure out how to get I Cheese to join the crew. I have to think about it. We agreed that you wouldn't be spreading your messy inventory over our nice clean floor. Uh, sorry, I'm. Honey, this will only take a moment. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. I, I just need to pull out something out of the inventory, and I need you to sign this. What's this for? I needed to convince reluctant rap scallions to join my crew. Darling, can't you just use your blinding charisma to cajole them into joining you? I think I used to follow my charisma on the honeymoon. All right, let me sign it. Oh, 
Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, just to be on the safe side. You never be too careful. Let me guess. Another government bribe? I prefer the term state-sponsored incentive. When you get back from Lucre Island, we're going to have a long talk about civic ethics. All right, let me sign it. Who needs ethics when you're in government? Come on now. Especially in a government run by pirates for pirates. That No, Elaine, no. You don't know how any of this works. Anyway, let's go ahead. Seriously, how am I going to get Mr. Cheese to join? I have completely forgotten. Do I have to beat him and insult something or other? But I'm not ready. I haven't worked on my insults. Like, I've, I've, I've gone too long just being nice to people. How will I ever be able to keep up with this new insult-based society? I don't know. I just don't know. But we got some cushy government jobs to give to our two friends right here. Hopefully they like what they see. Meaning the signature. Wow. You actually got us a signed contract. Well, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. Good. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, Carla, do you even know what half of this stuff means? Not a clue. But look, it says cushy in the title. <laughs> well, all right then. All right, Threepwood. You got yourself a crew. Yeah, we just need a navigator now. Ahoy again. What is it now? So, are you looking forward to our voyage? The horror. The horror. <laughs> we'll meet you at the shipyards once you've got a ship. Never thought I'd say that again. Be seeing you. Not if we see you first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's just go ahead and get the ship then. Maybe I'll get some inspiration for how to get Cheese to join. Just taking the back way to Melee Island. Where am I? There we are. All right. Oh, wait. Also, Meat Hook. We can talk to him, I believe. That might have opened up. Because we talked to our wife, so now maybe he'll talk to us. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me again. Go away. But. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me again. Go away. Fine. I don't want to go where I'm not wanted then. And great, I, I didn't want you to join my crew anyway. We're gonna have a better crew without you. Yeah. You don't even have arms. Well, you, you do have arms. You don't have hands. Yeah. Whatever. I'm not good at comebacks. Inventory, please. Thank you. Okay. The Melee Island gubernatorial symbol. Here you go, mistress. I told you, you don't have the authority to... Check this out. What's this? The gubernatorial seal of Melee Island. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you are an important person. Right this way, Mrs. Marley. Let me show you to your <laughs> ship. Is the dainty lady. It's pink. <laughs> You've obviously got a seaman's eye for nautical details. But but it's pink. 
Now, there are a couple of regulations that I'm required to explain to you. First, bring it back in the same or better condition as it is now. Second, life preservers are to be worn by all crew and passengers at all times. Finally, this vehicle is to be used for official business only, so no joyriding. Can I go now? Well, I'd love to hang out here on the docks with you all day. Actually, that's a lie. I can't stand to be near you. <laughs> Bye. Oh, and enjoy your voyages on the dainty lady. It's pink. Nothing wrong with a pink ship. Also, give me a second. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's look at the figurehead of the it's dainty the lady. Figurehead I've ever seen. Hey, she's got pierced ears. Why would anyone put earrings on a ship's figurehead? That is actually a very good question. It's pink. I know, right? Is everybody here yet? No, not yet. Do I have to exit and re-enter? Sold. Deluxe. And yet we're stuck with the pink ship. Oh well, better than nothing, I guess. Just gonna see if this is gonna reset stuff. I guess not. I'm not picking that up. I can't use this. It's pink. All right. Guess I really do need to get Mr. Cheese to join, and then we'll be all set. But I don't know... Does he want a government job? I can't remember. Wait, no. Didn't he say like he doesn't know who would look after the bar while he's gone? That is an important thing. I honestly cannot remember. Oh, well, that's still there. Hopefully, they'll take care of that while we're gone. Uh, Mr. Cheese. Wait a minute, is this a new bottle? I can't interact with? Okay. Hello again, Mr. Cheese. Yes. Hmm. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to convince you to navigate my ship to Lucre Island? I'm open to persuasion. What do you have in mind? Okay. Well, let's beat him in insult arm wrestling. Why not? I don't think this was an option before. Maybe I had to ask him about what it was first, and then this would open if up. If I beat you at insult arm wrestling, will you be my navigator? Hmm, that's an interesting proposition, Threadwood. It is? I mean, of course it is. <laughs> How about this? If you beat me, I'll be your navigator. Great! But only if you teach me some new insults. Agreed. Well then, let's see what you've got. This is like the retelling of One Piece. Where did that chair come from? Okay. Today by myself, 12 people I've beaten. Today by myself, 12 oh, he, he's gonna say I've beaten. Oh, okay. oh yeah? Hmm. Okay, that was that didn't have the effect that I thought it would. Uh, let, let's talk about our stupefying strength and his ulna, whatever the hell that is. Ah, my stupefying strength will shatter your ulna into a million pieces. What's the price you can count that high? Ooh, You're a nice one. No bigger than fleas that I've met. Oh crap! So that's why you're scratching. I'd go see a vet. Ah, so that's why you're scratching. I'd go see a vet. <sighs> I remember this. You have to, like, do rhymes and stuff. Okay. Um. Crap. I don't know. Oh my god, some of these are so good. <laughs> You're a big poopy. You suck. I wish uh, I could do those, but I think that's, like, just sort of throwing in the towel. I've out-wrestled Octopi with these arms. I'm sure that spineless creatures everywhere are humbled by your might. Yikes. My 98-year-old grandmother has bigger arms than you. Hmm, okay. Uh. 
Oh my god. What, what's the comeback for this? Oh, yeah, we both got better bladder control. Hell yeah. Yeah, but we both got better bladder control than you do. This is intense. This is intense. Uh, I've got muscles in places you've never even heard of. Oh, it's too bad none of them are in your arms. Oh my god. Your knuckles are grind to a splintery paste. He's so good. He'll grind my bones into a splintery paste. Um... Okay. My god, this is not going to end well. Uh, I'm gonna put your arm in a sling. Oh yeah. Alright, we got the advantage. We got the advantage. Cause he's a little punk. People consider my fists lethal weapons. Sadly your breath should be equally reckoned. My forearms have been mistaken for tree trunks. Forearms have been mistaken for tree trunks. Eh. Um. Hmm. That one might be what we want to go with. Um. Yeah. Uh, and over the counter defoliant could help with that problem. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, look over there. Uh, hey, look over there. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Got him! Okay. Because the, the one you want to do for that is like, yeah, yeah, I know, a three-headed monkey. All right, uh... Um, only once have I met such a coward. I am rubber. You are glue. Got him! Yeah, Yo! I won! You did. Fair and square. Congratulations. You got yourself a navigator. That was the most intense game of insult arm wrestling I've ever been a part of. It's also the only one. Very seaworthy. At least it doesn't smell like monkeys. Are you guys ready to go? I can. Whatever. No. Don't make me slap you, Otis. <laughs> Fine. Let's get this over with. Then we're off to Luger Island in search of high adventure and a legally binding restraining order. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. It's just Luker Island. It's not Monkey Island. Can we steer away from those dark portentous clouds? Nonsense, Captain. A little rain never hurt anyone. <laughs> wow! Mommy! Button down the hatches! Shorten sail! Clear the scuppers! Drain the bilges! Get your hands off me! Bye, baby. <laughs> well, at least we made it safe and sound. For the most part. Just Mr. Trees might... Mr. Trees. Mr. Cheese might have had a little too much to drink, because that is not a straight line. Well, there you go, Mr. Marley. Luker Island. Ah, Luker Town. The largest urban center in the Tri-Island area. Thanks, Mr. Cheese. Uh, next time you think we can get here with a little less drama? Oh, no. There's not going to be a next time, is there? Better not be. Once was enough. Okay, I'm going into town. You guys stay here and watch the ship. Oh, sure. I see how it is. The captain gets to make all the decisions. I mean... Yes? And it's not like we really have much to worry about with our dainty lady here. I don't think too many people are going to try and, you know, steal it. That's just me, though. So yeah, here we are on Lucre Island, and we got to meet with some... Somebody's selling fish over here. Hmm. All right. But yeah, we got to meet with some lawyers to uh, get a restraining order so that our house can be safe and, you know, we can kind of undo the damage of being declared dead. Well, at least in Elaine's case. So, yeah, next yeah, time... The end of the pier right here. All right, then. Next time we start exploring Luker Island. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more... Let's play Escape from Monkey Island. Don't worry, the game name will live up to like what, what you expect soon enough. That is a flag. There's a duckling on this. Must be the duck standard. I don't know why. I thought that was like a. Oh, okay, I, I'm I'm half insane. All right, just. 
Whatever. Next time, more of this game. Also, look at the duck. It's a rather unspectacular duck. I'm gonna pick it up. And put it into my inventory. What am I gonna do with this duck? I don't even know. See y'all next time. Goodbye.